Welcome. This video is on the Microsoft Access switch function and the expression you entered is too complex error. This often occurs when you use more than 15 or so segments to your statement. I'm going to show you a workaround without using VBA code. I have created a table, table color codes, with one field, color code, and entered values from 1 through 28. I'm going to create a query using this table and the color code field. And I'm also going to create another field named colors. This colon is what designates this as a field to Microsoft Access. Now you can type your switch function here, but there's not much view area. You can use a zoom box or the expression builder. Uh, I'm going to put it directly in a zoom box. So switch function with a color code equals one is going to return smooth white. Where the color code equals two off white and close the function with parentheses. I'm going to save this and we'll save it as query colors and view it. Okay, so one returns smooth white, two returns off white. I'm going to go back to design view and zoom. Now we could continue typing color code three, four, five, but I want to get past 15 so we can get that error. So I'm going to take this out and go into my notepad where I prepared the statement and paste it. So we have switch color code equals one through color code equals 28. We're going to save it and we get the error. The expression you entered is too complex. Now the first time I came across this error, I googled it to see what was happening and if there was a solution. And I found many people with the same issue where they said that this occurred once they hit about 14, 15, or 16 uh, segments in this statement. So I could not find a solution without using VBA, so I figured it out. Um, I'm going to cut this down to 15. Okay, make sure your function is closed with parentheses. And now save it. The expression you entered is too complex, still. So I'm going to cut it down to 14. Save it. That took it. And now we'll view it. Okay, so now we have 1 through 14 returning values. So I'm going to go back to design view. I'm going to rename this from colors to colors 1 through 14. And I'm going to create a new field. Okay, here's where the workaround starts. We're going to call it colors 15 through 28. You need that colon. I'm going to zoom. And I'm going to paste the whole function again and just select 1 through 14 and delete it. So now we have colors 15 through 28 switch color code equals 15 through color code equals 28. Okay, I'm going to save it and view it. Okay, so now we have 1 through 14 and as we scroll down you'll see we have 15 to 28. So now I'm going to create a new field. I'm going to do it right in the zoom box. We're going to call it combined for now. Colors 1 through 14 in brackets because that represents the fields. Ampersand colors 15 through 28. 
Okay, what the ampersand does is it concatenates these two fields. It puts them together. So if there's a value in the first one and no value in the second one, you're going to get value and nothing. And if it's the other way around, there's no value in the first field and a value in the second field, you're going to get nothing and value. So it's just going to put these together with the contents of both of them. So we're going to save that and view. So now you can see we have 1 through 14 is all in the combined column. 15 through 28 is all in the combined column. Now, I don't like to have extra things where it's not needed, um, these extra two fields. So I'm going to try gonna make a new field called All Colors. I'm going to paste the statement again. And we know it worked through 14. So I'm going to close this function with parentheses after 14. And I'm going to change this comma to an ampersand. And start a new switch function. Now switch is already closed at the end. OK, so we have 1 through 14, close function, ampersand to concatenate that with a new switch 15 through 28. I'm going to save it. And yes, same function, same result with one function and one field. So if I go back to design view, I should be able to delete these three fields, save it, and view. And there it is. We have one field with 28 parts to the statement all in one field. So I'm going to open up this form that I started to create. And we're going to use the record source as that query and the color code control source as color code and the color name as all colors, which is the statement that we created. I'm going to save this and view it. OK, so here it is in a form view. Now I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to try and eliminate this query unless you wanted it to use throughout the database in other places. OK, I'm going to take this statement, copy it, and I'm going to go to the control source of the color name field to take, take out the all color statement. And I'm going to zoom. And now I'm going to put an equal sign because a control source you would use equals to retrieve information rather than in, in the query where you create a field uh, and it's taking information from the table. All right, so this is going to equal this switch function. And we're going to save it and view. OK, so here it is with that switch statement, that function in the control source of this field. So now if I go back here and I change the record source to the table, and we view that, OK, we still have the function. And we can actually come here and delete the query. Okay, so now the function works just by having that statement in the control source of this field. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're going to do this is, let me zoom in. This is now referencing this form itself. This color code is referencing this color code field. So if this field was named color or code, this wouldn't work. You would need to change this field name throughout this whole statement to match the name of this field, or just change the name of this field to match the statement.
Okay, so two points. Um, you most likely wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't use this for something like the application um, where information will change. You'll get new colors, discontinue colors. Um, more likely you would use a table and a DLOOKUP function to look up the colors from the codes in a table. Uh, you would use a switch function for items that are not going to change. Um, I just did this to show how to get past that 14, 15 mark where you get that error. Um, another point is uh, with this we're using color code equals 1, equals 2. Um, if this were an alphanumeric code and it was a text field, you would need to use like instead of equals. So it would be color code like one, and the one would be in quotes, or color code like Z123, and the Z123 would be in quotes. So I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, message below or send me a message, uh, comment below, and thanks for watching.